Hi, it's Maggie Davis, aka Mini Minx, on YouTube and The Captain. I'm just going to share with you this uh, handmade vintage traveller's notebook. Um, I've used Tsunami Rose cover card here, and it has um, a key charm here at the side, and it's got red string tie closure. Simple closure, just wrapped it around, etc. Now, this is listed for sale on my Etsy, Minx Creations UK, but I didn't do a video for it, and I did say I would get around to it. This and a previous um, video, Birds uh, Traveller's Notebook, I, I hadn't done the video to match, so sometimes it's good to see what's in it. So, the size is eight and a quarter by four and a half, inches that's 21 roughly 21 centimeters by 11.5 centimeters and um, there's 58 pages creating 116 sides it contains various papers pattern papers tuck spot tags ephemera and there's stamped images in this one um, the front cover as i mentioned was from tsunami rose and some of the pages inside um, are from her as well. So we're going to, it looks quite slim, but once you put your own ephemera, etc. in it, it's actually really nice though. And I've put these in the centre. Once you put your own stuff in it, it'll bulk out. And I've put these on the, there's one signature and on the crochet thread here in the centre, I've added these beautiful little beads on it, which I think are lovely. Glass beads, pearls and green glass beads and there's a sort of light pink at the bottom. So trying to match in with the roses etc so we'll get straight into it have a look at it and see what's on here and um, so obviously this is I've just attached it to the I'll take that off to the cord that I tied it with there's gold in this cord and it kind of gets a bit um, sort of stringy but I've made this a beaded charm with a parrot closure could be used on this junk journal or on another project on your handbag etc and I thought it went and it was quite nice so I'll quickly get on just trying to see my viewing on this so I've stamped up here just a little note and I've stamped along the bottom and I sort of like a colour it's flowers those could be um, coloured in if you choose picture journaling etc so it's been a while since uh well I did this I did this book um and just shoved it up on my Etsy and didn't get a time enough time to video it. I, um so that's me getting around to it now. So I've stamped the edges and this bottom corner as well to sort of give a frame effect and there's washi tape being put in it. But stamping and a little bit of ephemera here on it. So we've got a tag, quite cute actually, and I've done stamping and I've ripped off um something from probably tsunami rose in there, glued it on, made a handmade tag, stapled it, the top part of it, just trying to make it go up, and that's beautiful paper as well, eh? that's tsunami rose paper, is that a tuck spot, or I think I've glued this one down the clock to give a vintage look, that's what I've done, Stamped images, a little bit of paper just been torn and glued on. Let me see, I've not made that in a tuck spot either. A little tuck spot with a fan here at the side, a couple of handmade tags, just stapled them on. Ripped the tops, didn't even want a straight edge because sometimes that vintagey, olden look um, is better if it's just ripped. So a little pocket here with some ephemera. And I've used decoupage on this with the napkins on there. Uh, Mud Podge has been hanging made on there, so you'll see that glaze on it just to create a tag. And we've got this tag. So journaling, photos, you could uh, add your own memorabilia, tickets. Whatever places you've been, little belly band here, a couple of tag, well, a couple a tag, a little tag where I put the bit at the back here, just stapled it on to give like a ledger look and a little notebook here. You could put pictures in there actually, or you could journal. Entirely up to yourself. That might be better at the front there, like that. Eh? Yep. Just the note. 
We've got a mannequin die cut here that I stamped with love hearts. And we've got this. You could actually glue that somewhere else to make a tuck spot if you chose. Got a couple more of these little tags that I've put washi tape on, I've stamped them with hearts, and I've put a little baker's twine on them. Just because I thought they looked cute. Yes, very cute. Um, a little pocket being made here and I've just ripped across it, stamped it and we've got a tag to kind of match that's just been ripped and two tags here um, and this little booklet. Tag and a booklet and another little booklet. So just trying to create quite a few pieces of ephemera really in this traveller's notebook. Tuck spot stamped images and ripped off a bit of paper that I've just added in to make a tag. Oh, that's cute washi tape, isn't it? Got butterflies on it. Okay, some more tags here. Little booklet type tag. So yeah, I was trying this out, just ripping a bit of paper, stamping on at the back so it looks like a sort of pull out, doesn't it? I pull out tags, so if you had it somewhere else in your journal, you could see it. So you kind of see the tab top first, don't you? On it. So, let's see what else. That's quite lovely paper too. That's Tsunami Rose, and of course this blue across from it goes pretty well. Got a belly band here with a handmade tag, some stamping on it, and ripped paper. Um, and a little banner die cut there, just trying to give it some interest. More stamping. So you get quite a lot of pages in here, although, as I said before, it didn't look that thick, did it? But if you were journaling, adding your own stuff, it would bulk out. And, what you know, that's the whole point. Or I had been talking in a video as well, one of one of the videos, um, about these glue boots books that I've come across, and these could quite easily be used as a glue book because you could stamp anything you liked in them, not just stamped glue in, rip out things from magazines, books, and um, things you see that you like. You take a photo, rip it, rip a bit of it out, and then just glue it inside here. I mean, scrapbook. I honestly feel that scrapbooking is quite similar. It's you know. You might make tuck spots and pockets, but in the glue book, it seems to be that you're gluing everything down, but you could paint, stamp, whatever. Um, it's not, to me, it's not really that different, that much different. So a tag here and a little booklet type tag. In the side pocket. Yeah. So flowers and butterflies sort of stamped all the way through it and that is the back. So I hope you liked it and like I said, um, this is going to be for sale on my Etsy, Minx Creation UK. So it's a case of, you're just wrapping it round. Um, if you, if the, if this closure is too big for you or whatever, too long, just snip a bit of it off. I've probably not gave it enough room to do the tie there, so I'm just going to do it like that. And of course you get this little charm with it. So thank you for watching. Bye.